Are you ready? We're gonna name everything that starts with the letter A, babe. Ready? Go! Apples, ass, <laughs> air. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the letter A. Welcome to the jungle. Ow. We're here! Hi! It is the first video of my alphabet series and I'm so excited to introduce you to video A. A. Ha <laughs> I did it. So, how this is gonna go. I have a box of all A products that I put together. And I have an idea in my head. I wanted these looks to come out pretty, not sloppy. So I kind of did a little bit of research along with my research. I did like a little bit of planning. I don't even know where to start right now. So to save some time, I already filled in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. I'm gonna start off with this amazing, why are we so pale here, honey? I'm gonna start out with this amazing cosmetics illuminating eye primer. Product I've never tried before. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna prime my face with the amazing cosmetics illuminate primer, highlighter, thing, bronze. What? Oh geez. Oh geez, this is dark. Oh, actually I lied. Blends out nicely. So you guys, this is the only foundation that I have that starts with the letter A. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Warm Natural. We're gonna see how this goes because I don't remember the last time I used this. Not that I don't like it, I like it. I think it just got lost deep in my foundation drawer. Actually, this is not a bad match. So far, so good. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Then I have the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in Fair Golden. This is very light <laughs> and I'm very scared. I'm very scared right now, I'm very scared. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Clearly I'm not good at eyeing things. We're doing okay so far, I think. We're a little pale, but I think, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. I was a little scared. We have the Anastasia Contour Kit. We got lots of shades in here. I have high hopes for this, for this letter A. There aren't that many brands with the letter A, but the two brands, main brands that I've been using so far, have been kind of working good together. Then we're gonna bronze up a little bit. I think I wanna really, I wanna make this very, very bronze. We have the Alamar palette, which goes very well along with our theme. This is the first time I'm using this palette. It'll be the first time I'm using this palette. Like it hasn't even been touched. So I had an idea that I want to share with you guys. The packaging on Amika products is really, really beautiful. Whoa. And I kind of wanted to mimic the shapes. I think that's the direction we're gonna go for. And yeah, I hope, I hope as we go along in this series, the videos get easier to watch or easier for me to film because I kind of know what I should be talking about or saying. Whereas right now I'm just kind of like, okay, let's do this. Let's figure this out. I'm taking the Anastasia Subculture Palette, you know, the palette that everyone and their mother loves. I'm gonna take this shadow right here. Then I'm gonna jump into the Anastasia Prism palette. I'm gonna take this shadow right here and we're just gonna blend that in the crease. I'm actually gonna blend this right, I'm gonna try something, this is gonna be ballsy, but I'm gonna blend Eden only in the inner corner, kind of. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna take speed. 
which is this bright ass green, but a beautiful green at that. And we're gonna use the green on the outer. So it's, oh, wait, I love that. I'm a genius. So I'm taking Sphere to basically all the naked parts of my eye right now. So right on the outer part of the lid and then almost kind of like winging it out, continuing like where I would have put the, the uh, pink or peach color. And then taking a little bit of Saturn and Saturn's just gonna go right in the inner corner. I don't have any setting spray. <laughs> what do I do? So I have these two liners from Absolute New York. I'm gonna use these to kind of make all of these very wavy, jungly shapes. Why am I yawning? I don't even know where to begin. I'm not a painter. <laughs> like that just looks like a painting. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be one hell. Oh my god. Okay, so safe to say I'm not loving this shape, so I think I'm gonna square them out and make them a little bit, make these shapes a little more straight. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just messing up this whole look right now. So there's my first shape. I'm gonna start filling in these shapes with just super jungly colors. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys, this is so hard. This is so much harder than you think. I've been here for like an hour already. <laughs> This is where we are currently at. This is the Starry Eyed Shimmer Liquid Eyeliner. I have this little pigment right here from Alexa Parisco Cosmetics. All right guys, so now that we are glowing, I'm taking the foundation that I used just to chisel out. So I'm gonna add some mascara and then pop on some lashes. This mascara is the Ardell Wispies Fiber Building Mascara, and I've never tried it before. So now I'm gonna move on to hair. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. My hair's gotten a little flat with today's festivities. Go on the DMV. Queens have volume in their hair. Also gonna add some of the Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray to give it some more texture, some more volume, get this hair going. Then we have this really, really cool product from Amika. It's called the Show Off Gold Finishing Dust. I am so excited to use this. It's gold glitter for your hair. I'm also gonna add some of this chunky glitter from Aqua Lagoon. I'm trying, I'm trying. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. All right, guys, here's the final look for... Can I do this again? Hold on. Here we go, I did the letter A. Here's the final look using only brands with, starting with the letter A. This was a little more challenging than I thought. At so many times during this video, I wanted to get up and get a product, like an eyeliner, a setting spray. Did, wasn't, just didn't even think about it. 
It was a lot more difficult than I expected it to be and this look definitely did not come out as I intended it to, but I love it. I love how it turned out. Super different, super fun. And this backdrop is freaking beautiful. And these are my nice plants that I bought. You like them? So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and are enjoying this series thus far. Thank you so much always for your support and for your love. My eyelashes falling off. As always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Please, 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 please. So you don't miss out on a single video. And of course, check out my playlist of all of the series videos. And to see sneak peeks and photos and all that fun stuff, make sure you're following me on Instagram at PewDieByJulia. Thanks, guys, for watching. Woo, we got through eight.